there is a drowning epidemic in Australia. In New South Wales alone, there were as many water deaths over the Christmas period as there were car fatalities. If someone's life depended on you, could you save them with CPR? It's an important question. Yeah, it seemed like there was something in the news every night with respect mm. to this. Now, joining us is St John's Ambulance New South Wales Assistant Commissioner Josh Clark and St John's volunteer Edward Anstey. Good morning to you, morning. fellas. Thanks morning. for coming in today. So, I mean, I, I, I've done a CPR course, but I haven't done it since I left high school. Mm. So it was quite a while ago now. So how often should you be doing this, ideally? Yeah, look, it, it's recommended that, uh, with your first aid, you learn it every three years and refresh it. Right. But CPR every 12 months, because that really is the life-saving piece of information we need to keep updated. I mean, and, and do you expect that, that, that someone throughout the course of their life will be faced with an emergency where they could actually contribute by knowing the course? Yeah, absolutely. Look, uh, as you said, you know, the car fatalities uh, and the drownings this summer have just been you know, an, an epidemic and it's been terrible. So the mm. likelihood is quite high. All right. All right. Let's, let's get to a, um, um, yep. a, a bit of a gonna, show I'm here. Gonna Jane's going to do it for me. All right. I've got a bung wrist. Sorry. So, so Jane's <laughs> yeah. going to do the heavy lifting for okay. me this morning. What do I do? So you put our hands directly on the sternum in the middle, yep. straight like that, and we push down two thirds of the chest. I'm, I'm not going, how do you get the... That's right, that straight right? away. So we're doing hard and fast compressions for 30. So we'll oh. count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. So the beat of staying alive. Ah, ah, yes. Ah, ah, staying oh. alive. Now, a lot of people worry that they're going to break someone's bone when they do this, but you say the harder the better, really. Just push hard and fast. That's the real message today, I think. Um, and remember that 30 compressions oh, and then two rescue sore. breaths. Wow, yeah, okay. Takes well, it out of you. And, yeah. then, and, then, and then do you have to, sorry to interrupt, do you, do you go to the mouth then? Yeah, that, absolutely. Yeah. So we want to get a good tight so grip around first. the wrist. Okay. And then tilt the head back, and then straight on, down. Sorry about the lipstick. And you're watching for the, the rise of the chest to get that air in. And then Am straight back it? on. Okay. Straight back onto the chest. That's it. Great work. <laughs> you saved a life. <laughs> wow. It, all right. <laughs> it's so, tough. It it's is. not easy. Just hard and Sorry, I've got to keep going. That's it, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's and the way. How do you know, when do you stop when, when they any signs of life, but okay. until the ambulance has come, you just follow that DRS okay. ABCD protocol. Okay. So once you've checked for danger, checking for any signs of life, and you've sent for help, and then you're checking the airway to see if there's any obstructions, you've Hard done work, really Jack. well. well done. Hey. Oh, look, my best friend Ash is a, uh, a lifesaver down at North Bondi. She's done all this training. I never knew it was this hard. There you go. <laughs> hey, Josh, how easy is it to do these courses? Look, like, like, out of your time? Yeah, look, it, 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 we have Keep going. <laughs> courses. We have one-day courses. We have an express course for four hours. But CPR is something that should be learned everywhere. And yeah, it's, it's not a little bit of time. And really, the question you have to ask yourself Ed, is, back. why wouldn't mm, you in. want to learn first aid? Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's a life-saving skill. Mm. Okay. Two breaths. And you, okay. are you right. Straight back on. Is there a cost involved? Well, there, there is a cost, you know, there's uh, Great ranges range. in what course you're wanting to do. So uh, we do have a promotion at the moment as well. That if you were to do a, a Provide, which is the most popular and the oh. basic first aid course, you actually get a free first aid kit, which is the blue one here today. Yep. And so what, so you, what will you find in the first aid chest? Kit? So you'll find everything okay. that you would have to, uh, so not not to too render hard. first aid. So yeah. you have and your bandages, children, your band-aids, you ice packs, you want to change slings, your position into two fingers, and just gentle one third of the chest. Okay, sorry, this is what we... Oh, we've got a couple of conversations going on here. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might have to do us. But folks, um, it, it is important for you to go out there and, uh, and if you can, uh, get out there and learn this course because you never know when you're going to need it. We'll send it over to Lara now. Thank you, guys. That is really important.